Human displacement is one of the great challenges of our age. There are now more refugees than at any time since the Second World War. On average, every year, 24 million people are displaced in the context of sudden onset disasters. Asylum issues have turned into a political debate. Asylum seekers and refugees have essentially lost their human face. It's quite a dangerous direction that we're heading. Executive governments are seeking more and more power. Who is responsible for protecting asylum seekers and refugees? The work of Calder Centre has become ever more important, globally, regionally and nationally. At a time when there is a lot of hyperbole and even hysteria in the debate about refugees and asylum seekers, we need evidence-based, measured, level-headed research. A trusted, credible, non-partisan source of expertise. And that's what the Caldor Centre provides. We produce research that's connected to policy makers, to the public, and ultimately to the real world problems that are faced by people who are forced from their homes. One of the most important things that we do is hold governments to account. The centre makes submissions to all parliamentary inquiries relating to migration and displacement. Quite a number of the members of parliament that I talk to have told me that they actually consult the Caldor Centre quite frequently. Our work is relied upon in trying to develop better laws and policies. The Caldor Centre's contribution to the shaping of law is absolutely critical. From a UNHCR perspective, the Caldor Centre have really contributed greatly to our ability to analyse and to advise on very complex elements of international law. One of the areas where we've had great impact is in relation to climate change and forced migration. To what extent does international refugee law and human rights law help people in those situations? And where are the gaps? Where do countries need to do more? As a working journalist, I find the Caldor Centre incredibly useful. Publications, the fact sheets, the books that have been published, take the debate around forced migration outside of the bubble that it sometimes exists in to a broader Australian community to explain exactly what is happening in this country, what is happening around the world, because this is one of the policy challenges that this country will be facing for decades. There are still so many questions that need to be studied. What sorts of research and policies do we need to adopt over the next 5, 10, 20 years to ensure the protection of the world's forced migrants? Human displacement is one of the great challenges of our time and how we respond to this challenge is one of the great tests of us as a society. There's never been a more important time for the work of the Caldor Centre.